Google has a secret plan. In 2017, Google CEO Sundar Pichai announced that Google is now an AI-first company. However, there's evidence they've been thinking this way for an awful lot longer than they're letting on. Kevin Kelly, in his recent book, The Inevitable, reveals he had a private conversation with Larry Page all the way back in 2002 at a Silicon Valley party. And in this conversation, Larry Page revealed that they're really building an AI company, okay? So this tells us Google's been working to a secret plan for 15 years um, or more. Amazing. So like, I love this. I think a lot of the world's best businesses have secret plans. McDonald's looks like it sells hamburgers. It's actually a property company. Littlewoods look like they sell dresses. They're actually a bank. So Google are revealing to us, um, or rather Kevin Kelly is revealing to us by publishing a private conversation, um, that Google have a secret plan to actually become an AI company. So Google's stated mission is to organize the world's information, and make it universally accessible to everybody in the world. Thus positioning themselves as the gatekeepers between the world's information and the world's people. Like I believe um, that Google has a secret mission and that secret mission is to monitor the world's interactions with the world's information. That's how machine learning learns, okay? So what Google would be doing, specifically what they would be doing if this really is their secret plan, is they'd be building the world's biggest and the world's best data set, okay? Data is oxygen to AI. So we're gonna do one or two exercises just to interrogate this hypothesis that they've really been doing this in the background all the time. So exercise number one, have a little think about how many Google products you've used so far today, okay? We know there's one, because you're watching this on YouTube, but have a think about what other Google products you've, you've used today. So for lots of you, there might be two more. For some of you, there might be even four or more uh, Google products um, that, that have played a part of, of your life today. So this is a brilliant illustration of how entwined Google's become with our day-to-day -day lives. The next question I'd like to ask you is how much are you paying for those products? It's free, you know, nothing. The idiots, Google, they could have made so much more money um, if they just charged us for all these cool free tools that are so useful to us in our day-to-day. -day. The reason they haven't charged us is the plan has always been to build the biggest and best data set, data is oxygen to, AI, oxygen to AI, and why would they put a cost barrier between you using the Google products to literally digitize your lives and, and, and help them build that data set? So that's a pretty compelling illustration. There are over 250 of those Google products, can you believe? We'll do another exercise to illustrate this point. So I'm going to ask you to pause the video in a second um, and go and conduct a search for the world's biggest number okay what's the biggest number in the world so press pause now hey welcome back so you'll have seen a couple of words you recognize there right eh? and um, you'll have seen the word google you'll have seen the word googleplex and um, i took some time to try and understand the relationship between a google and a googleplex and i pulled the muscle in my prefrontal cortex and um, so i don't know exactly what it is but a googleplex is something like a google to the power of a Google, something like that. Um, but anyhow, back to the, the, the matter at hand, what we're seeing here is they literally named the company after their information intention. Um, Google, in, this, in, in, in calling themselves Google all the way back in 1998, people, they, uh, when they were about 12 months old, they uh, rebranded from Backrub to Google. They're telling us, this information company is telling us it wants to build the world's largest data set. So they've been screaming this secret mission from the rooftops for the last 20 years. We've all been working for them for free. Act one of this magnificent business plan um, was to capture uh, revenue via the advertising industry. They now own 31% of the advertising spend in the world. Act two of this astonishing feat of vision for me is then to use this data set to plug AI into all the industries in the world. And that is going to be a far more valuable company um, an exciting opportunity, I believe.